This week, we've been busy building our shed studio, but we had a few emergency repairs to our duck pens when one was attacked by a snake. One of our biggest jobs on the farm is protecting our animals from predators. We have to protect them from snakes, goannas, eagles, and so many more scary animals. We are sisters, Julia and Anastasia, caring for a regenerative fruit farm on Bundjalung country on the east coast of Australia. We have a dream to build a self-sustainable future and regenerate the land for generations to come. We've started a Patreon. It's here for anyone who wants to be more involved and help us feed the animals and continue documenting this journey. We've been so busy building the shed studio and working all together as a team. The sheep always run past on an adventure somewhere and the goats have been as naughty as ever always trying to help in their own special way. Who knows if Magnolia and Moth are trying to imitate us building or just being the sweet puppy dogs that they are, but they keep picking up pieces of wood. You're not a dog! Let's play fetch. <gasps> Ready? Maggie! Oh, no. Ready? Fetch! Uncle Adam is building shelves from the leftover floorboards, and we are all trying to learn from him as he builds. Even the goats are interested. While Adam constructs the shelves, Mum is nailing in the floorboards, and I'm on sanding. These are special moments when we're all working together and chatting. The shelves look so good. The farm up the back is actually, oh, yeah, yeah, that gives you your power. Yeah. The farm, like, if it's there, oh. but if you've got your farm on the back, that gives you a little bit more power. And just make it sort of an extension of your whole arm. Um, it looked, you were pretty close to being right, but it, yeah, um, it was pretty good. That's cool. <laughs> Uncle Adam, the nail expert, is here to help. We're learning to nail into hardwood, but it's hard. Adam is using the offcuts of these floorboards that were already offcuts. They are seconds from a local mill of boards that have imperfections. With the pieces that we didn't use on the floor, Adam is creating a beautiful bookshelf which will divide the two rooms in the new studio. I'm sanding a big piece of timber that we had in the shed. We're going to use it on top of the shelves. This piece is pine and our dad felled and milled it himself many years ago. These beams that he crafted stand in so many places throughout the shed and our house and hold so much meaning in history. Reminding us of our dad and his stories. The shelves are coming together so well. Now I'm going to sand them.
Today we are dividing the Welsh Harlequin pen so that the Cayugas can live out here, and then in the daytime they will be in a paddock further away from the dense bush that a snake has been living in. Wim hangs out with us, wherever we may be, even if it's in the Welsh Harlequin paddock and he needs to fly over two fences to get here. Okay Wim, let's go get some mesh. Every Welshie and Wim want to help. I feel like another duck clutched inside their pen. And gosh, I'm kind of jealous. The view here is beautiful and I wouldn't mind waking up here. Whenever we let them out in the morning, we find them all sitting in a row looking out to the first sun in the hills. Don't worry, our duck is fine, but yesterday, one of the Cayuga ducks was attacked by this huge python. We heard fast movement and then a distress quack. We all went running out and saw the python's body wrapped around the poor duck, who was wrapped so tight she couldn't move. So, together, Julia caught the snake's head with our DIY snake catcher, made from a piece of pipe and an old electrical cord. And mum held the snake in the air with the end of a broom. I started to try to unwrap the body of the snake, while Julia kept the head tight, but the snake was way too strong. So me and Julia swapped jobs, and she began to heave the snake's body from the duck, while the snake tried to wrap around her arm. The snake was actually in a tight knot around the duck's neck, so Julia had to carefully untie the snake. It was so scary. Finally, we let the snake go, although it was very angry at the end and was rearing up at us and showing its fangs. We grabbed our sweet duck and ran away. Unbelievably, she was fine. She's a little shaken, but seems to be okay. She took time to hold her head up again, but the next day she was fine and back with all the other ducks. Now she is very thankful and always nibbles us and jumps on our lap to express her gratitude. So that's why we are mending this pen for them to live in, away from the snake. All right, time to get to work. Not without the help of Sheriff though. Sharon. Hi. Now I'm just wiring in the mesh. Oh, it All done. I hope the Welsh Harlequins aren't too upset that they can't sit on the edge of the pen watching the view. Okay, time to try it out. First, it's time for the Welsh Harlequins to go to bed. They always race us down to the pen, and Wim is always just behind to snag some sneaky food. Okay, now for the Cayugas. Oh, 
Uh oh, the cools think it's their new pen. Julia's job is to hold as many naughty cool ducks as she can. Luckily, they love jumping all over us, so they soon get distracted from the new pen. We put up the electric fence at night, which sends through a small pulse of electricity every second, so that if any snake, wild dog, fox, or anything touches it, they'll be scared straight away. The ducks don't feel a thing since they aren't touching the ground. Good night, everyone. Do you want to fly Uncle Bummy? Ready? Oh no, a cane toad. They have venom secreting poison glands, so we don't want the ducks anywhere near them. All right, now time to find Magnolia and Moth, who are probably sulking away somewhere because they hate the wet weather. Here they come. And here come all the little ducks too. Okay, stop causing trouble and time for bed call ducks. They have recently learned to fly up to our shoulders and sometimes even our heads. They always do this when they get too excited about being fed. It's very impressive. It's very impressive. You get a special treat. Here they come. Who else wants to fly up? Flying. <laughs> The next job is to find Scout and Mama, the naughtiest ducks who run off to the dam every day and don't come back sometimes before bed. Scout and Mama, come back! So every time they get distracted at the dam, we have to go get them. Otherwise, they aren't safe duck from predators. Duck, duck, duck! Come on, duck, duck, duck! When they're in an especially naughty mood, they need to be herded in by canoe.
Bedtime scout. Bedtime mama. Come on. Once they realize that there's a cozy panel of yummy food waiting for them at home, they always waddle up after us. Thank you for watching. We appreciate all the support and the new friends that we are making. Lots of love from us, Mum Who Films Everything, and all of the animals. And a big thanks to our patrons for helping us on this journey.